The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Tumpa kumpa yia moka pata. Mungi kuno ba mui rachi. Ichuta, mui patisa, mui. Kipona. Kava tumpa kuta iya moka pata. Chiyo. Time to rumble. Here, let's go. Time to rumble. Here. No problem. Got it. Kipona! Kava tumpa kumpa yi... Kava tumpa kumpa yi ya moka pata! Ponan...
crop. Didn't work. Yes?
What?
چی گرتون لودا بگرشی کچی کون ایده ها دون تا کم جز تخت میکی گربل بگو رونده دی ها دون چه دو بدوانه نیدی بابا کوی همی جز چی کتن Greetings, stranger. My name is Gel. Excellent. You did well in our last match, but I think if you're ever looking for a match and you get tired Go away. Cheese can eat you. Kimba muli rat wanna ji. Kimba no kun mixet abon. Kakin cha na wabaka on. Tung abashun ni chun chi. Kipona. Kava tumpa kupa yiya moka paata. Chi yoka ku tumpa kulpa yiya. One. Oscar. Cheese can eat you. The hoopa botenya go gigi piti. Kipuna, kava tumpa ku pailea muka pata. Tioka ku tumpa ku pailea. Two. Tioka ku, kimba muli rat wana ji. Ku yami juski chika nai. Uba baska duana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Three. I saw Davik's new starship in the spaceport. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails.
I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Really? Huh. I guess that's it then. A real shame it had to come to this. She was a good-looking gal despite her temper. Ah well. Plenty more ladies out there for me. If you want to collect the bounty, go talk to Zax. I gave him the credits for safekeeping. As far as I'm concerned, my part in this is over. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami, juski, chika, nai. Tong patoga, smaktilia. Da beast, you bong. Who you call a little girl, chuba face? Uba batu, conchi. Jiska da soki, kuba. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right... Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this diet's pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Ka chikun ita hodonga. 
Či gratu, no da pograši, on ne un kompa, ta kum ju stah miki, grabl mogo, kači ću i ta bodunga. Či gratu, no da pograši. Tavo dumpa, kum palija mu kapata. Čanšak polara, umrao či skaduči. Šak ji loča wana woma? Kava volpa mulji gumuna. Kava dumpa kapalia mona pata, bona na kaču. Tin umpa dopun krita, ak ti kondo o... Ui ti membo rang thong, muli ra on shantoring um nip... Kim kun shi kai kachin awana wamata. Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny ku. Run the di ho tonga. Ken chopa chawi ti chop twist yun kun. What we bona na kachu. Kicha bad wang. Wanga kum ki. Jus chikata na patoga ya. Kim kun shi kai kachin awana wamata. Ni shi la chor. We tam boragatong. We team and borang thong. Cheese caduci on chuba kipuna bona na kichu king ba mule ratwa kipuna na bon sha kava dumpa pudu tuni rama kipuna bona na kachu Kimba mule ratwa na kachi chona rundi hautom. Chibedwa na ni bobo. Kawish mana wish. Labuda na winki smakoma. Kawish mana wish. Tonjo ni aha konong. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but... Tombatora Kachicho naifa odun Chibedu anani Chach kachicho naifa Tombato Chiyoka kolmolera Kien chibedu anani Chakachicho na Tombato Chiyo kakol mo chibedu anani Kachi chona Rundi hao Tunira nanu prata tunkyo Sercha toma toma Kawa tawish mana wish Kawa dumpaku Chibedu anani bobo Chico. Chico. 
Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, that's too bad then, because I'm not gonna change. It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Yet.
Chuta. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came. Yeah, why would a human want to help you, freak? Hey, aren't you? Hey, hey, stop that, you kids! Leave him alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Well, I will. You kids, get lost before I kick your sorry butts. Now, now beat it! Oh! Run for it! Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? So I've seen. If I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. 
and we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It's not that. It's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... Oh, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's always some Ladies and he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids. Ladies and he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids
Welcome to the equipment. <laughs> Yes? A legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a Welcome to the because Ladies and he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids at
question to bow. Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Mal to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a... heading down You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't pu. Otana wa mamunera! Kenjunju bashak! No wa. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. 
I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Ready. On it. Damn. What? No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. 
Didn't work. Got it. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. You Time to rumble!
You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulkers or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zerdra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. No problem. Didn't work. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Ready? What? You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? 
The escape bots? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hand. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now. Is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. <laughs>